What's up guys? Today I got a gun I want to show you. It is a, it's a Rossi, uh, it's a R46102, which is a uh, 357 Magnum with a two inch barrel. Uh, this is the box it came in. I mean, it's nothing fancy. Uh, that's the model number if you're interested. Six shot, 357 Magnum, two inch. R461 uh, you know made in Brazil you know it's basically a Taurus is basically what it is it comes uh, like I said kind of with this cheap box uh, you get the gun there's some instructions and stuff in it too but I, I think I've taken them out kind of where I was reading them from. Those keys right there for that to lock that trigger. Uh, the gun's not loaded. Just to be sure. You know, not that I'm going to shoot you through the camera. And I sure don't want to shoot myself. So, uh, just thought I'd show it to you. I mean, it's, you know, kind of a no frills deal uh, revolver. Uh, there is one thing I'd like to mention about it. The firing pin is right there on the end. Uh, I've heard a lot of people say that they that that'll break off, uh, and then you can get a replacement that won't break off. But I've, I haven't had any problems with it. Uh, it hadn't broke. Um, if you look at the gun, you can see it's got a hammer block, so it's not gonna it doesn't come through there until you pull the trigger. So you, I mean, it's good lock up. I mean, it's real positive. Uh, the sights on it are kind of crappy, uh, but with a with a revolver, they all shoot high anyway. So you basically use that front post to see with. Um, it comes with a like rubber type, and there's some texture in there. So I mean, it's a pretty solid grip. Uh, overall, I like it. Uh, I've never shot a 357 Magnum bullet through it. Uh, everything I've shot has been 38 or plus P38. Uh, 357 Magnum stuff is just so expensive and you know I don't I do carry it occasionally it is a carry weapon but I mean I don't normally I've carried something with a little bit more capacity than this uh, six shot. Uh, a little tip when you buy this gun make sure you clean it it comes with some kind of mystery uh gunk like sticky substance i don't know really how to explain it but it won't it won't even function so make sure you clean it up real good before you try to shoot it i had i took it out when i first got it and just tried to fire it a little bit and the, the cylinder kept locking up and i was like what the hell and I cleaned it real good and then it, you know, it worked perfect and I had no problem since. It was just real sticky. I mean, it was just, I don't know, I can't really explain it. The action was really, really sloppy. I mean, it wouldn't hardly move. Uh, now that it's broke in, I mean, it's not, it don't spin like a Smith & Weston, but I mean, it will move. Uh, before, you could turn it like that and it wouldn't hardly move. Uh, I think the powder residue got in there and caused it to where, you know, to lock up uh, the trigger on it in double action is horrible <laughs> as with most double action revolvers but the single action on it's pretty solid I can hit the target pretty much every time in single action with a little bit of practice with double action I can I can get in a circle with it uh, I wouldn't use this for any if you was gonna be in a gun battle but you know for point and shoot this will do the job I like to keep this one kind of within arm's reach of me when I'm in the house. Uh, if I'm not, you know, if I hadn't been out or anything, I always keep one close by anyway, just, you know, just, just to be safe. It's got just a plain old steel sight. Well, I'll take that back. It's plastic. Uh, it's non-adjustable. And then you just got your little thoroughfare through there, I guess. Uh, the hammer's got good texture on it. The, where you release the cylinder right here, it's got good texture. Uh, 
I mean, overall in the hand, I mean, it's a really good gun. Good gun. It feels good. It to me, that's a J frame, kind of like a Smith J frame. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that because I don't own a Smith on Weston, but from what I've seen, you know. But overall, man, I think I paid like 289 for this gun. So for the money, I'm happy with it. Hadn't had any problems with it. I've shot probably 200, 300 rounds through it. I know that's not a lot. That's not really probably enough to even make a good review of it. But, you know, like I said, other than cleaning that mystery sticky substance off of it, uh, it's been a good gun. But anyway, uh, hope everybody's having a good day. Appreciate y'all watching the video and uh, y'all be cool.